Huo Jingyou, the sixth generation descendant of Yang Liuqing New Year paintings. To him, the making of New Year painting is a ritual. Outlining, engraving, printing, painting, mounting. Every step of the process comes very handy for him. In Tianjin, Huo Qingyou is the only all-around artist of mastering five working procedures. Right now, he is making a child holding fish picture, which is a classic theme of Tianjin Yang Liuqing New Year painting. Chubby children holding lotus flower or fish symbolize hope, prosperity, and good luck. New Year painting was considered an auspicious and lucky image in ancient China. It goes back to human worshiping nature and many tool in ancient times. The legend of the white snake is another important subject of Yang Liuqing New Year paintings. It's a love story between Bai Suzhen, who is a white snake turning into human form, and a mortal man named Xu Xian. This is a Yang Liuqing New Year picture album, Madame White Snake, from the 1960s. It consists of 16 pages. The most toughing folk legend and the most beautiful folk art, both are national intangible culture heritage. They have merged perfectly. With brush and sculpting knife, artists tell the great love story of Bai Suzhen and Xu Xian once again. As soon as Madame White Snake published, the then French ambassador Pierre bought the album as Chinese art treasure and sent it to Charles de Gaulle and the French Prime Minister at the time. Now Yang Liuqing woodblock New Year pictures of Madame White Snake can be found at museums in Japan, Russia, and other countries as well. This is the Yang Liuqing New Year picture, Madame White Snake, collected at the Russian National Pushkin Art Museum. At present, Russia has the second largest collection of Chinese woodcut New Year pictures next to China, with more than 6,000 pieces. There are 103 large pictures at Pushkin Art Museum, which were from the beginning of the 20th century, called Gongjian. These pictures mostly made in the late Qing dynasty, with not much color and primitive simplicity to depict daily life and beliefs of ancient Chinese people. Every new year, pictures of door god with armor and sword, outlined using pure gold, were specially ordered by emperors of Qing dynasty. They were not made by court painters, but from Yang Liuqing, an old town by the Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal, dozens of kilometers south of the capital. As legend has it, several generations of the Dai family living by the canal side painted pictures for their livelihood. A wonderful encounter changed the fate of the family in the town of Yang Liuqing. One day, the disguised Qing Emperor Qianlong passed by Dai Lianzong's gallery on his way back to Beijing. The Emperor drank some water and had a careful look at all the paintings. Owner Dai Lianzong went to the trouble and showed the respected guest hundreds of New Year paintings. So Qianlong was very impressed with Dai Lianzong and said to him, What a true business man you are! When Qianlong's guard of honor arrived and the guest left, everybody started to think the guest could be the Emperor Qianlong. Later, a message was delivered, no more taxes, just pay tribute. It means that the Emperor wanted paintings from our family instead of tax. 
Since then, the Dai's New Year paintings were brought into the Imperial Palace. It was a peaceful golden age, and business was thriving. The old town boomed, thanking to the river and the paintings. Yang Liuqing Folk Wood Block New Year paintings is recommended as the best in the country. There has been a saying that every family in Yang Liuqing knows how to play with ink and brush. Today, the thousand-year-old town is still full of painting studios and old brand names. People from all over come to see Yang Liuqing New Year picture galleries. Artists here either follow ancient heritage skills or focus on innovation and development. Zhang Keqiang is the owner of a New Year painting gallery in Yang Liuqing. He was exposed to painting and art of Yang Liuqing New Year pictures at a very early age. In the matters of carrying on or developing the tradition, Zhang Keqiang has his own unique opinion. Among locals, he is referred to as the New Year painting Zhang style. His paintings became collectible art treasures for exquisite craftsmanship. I think there are two directions when it comes to New Year paintings. One is originality, another is the outstanding precious historical work. This picture kite flying out of the ten beauties is famous. But the original work was damaged badly, so we found paintings from the same period to study hairstyle and clothes of the ladies, trying to repair her missing handdress in the collar, as well as the other parts. Old beauty figures rarely laugh with mouth wide open. It has to be a small cherry-like mouth, and her blush should be applied between eyelid and cheek. Eyebrows used to be thin and light. Eyes are amended-shaped or a little slanted. In a series of Yang Liuqing New Year painting, Ten Beauties, the ten beautiful women appear in different auspicious and wonderful scenes. They represent traditional, classical, elegant, and talented women. They are portrayed in poems and novels. At the same time, they are gentle as the girl next door. Yang Liuqing New Year paintings classify as fine and rough, spring and autumn. Autumn rock work refers to pictures made by real farmers. On the bluish-green background, 80-year-old Wang Xueqin draws a vivid big swimming red fish, rounded with pink lotus and green leaves, neat and crisp. He uses extremely bright colors. The strong and stimulating color instantly comes through your eyes. Hand this picture over the water wet on the New Year's Day. The reflection of the fish in the water means being prosperous every year. 
Wang Xueqin's fish is representative of the autumn rock work of Yang Liuqing New Year paintings. The aged artist used to be a farmer. Under the humble appearance, he is currently the only folk artist doing rock work of Yang Liuqing New Year paintings in China. He is regarded as the living fossil of Tianjin flavored culture. In addition to the humorous gold inheritors in Tianjin, China, there is a public museum to collect, study, display Yang Liuqing woodblock New Year paintings. Visitors can find the most familiar Chinese New Year custom and culture here. Yang Liuqing Woodblock New Year Painting Museum restored two historic picture workshops, Dai Lianzeng and Qi Jianlong. Artists recreated the four crafts of making a Yang Liuqing Wood New Year painting, delineating, wood engraving, printing, coloring. Craftsmanship transferred through families, well-preserved historic art pieces, brilliant works reflecting past and present enhance each other's beauty. In Tianjin, China, the art development of Yang Liuqing New Year paintings is underway by integrating inheritance and innovation. The beauty of Yang Liuqing New Year paintings goes back to ancient times and shows new era of style. TJTV World